Okay, right here is a 1995 Caterpillar 990 wheel loader. The 990 was first introduced by Caterpillar in 1993 as a gap filler between the 988 and 992. The machine itself is larger than the older 992B, but at the same time smaller than a 992C, making it an ideal sized machine for large quarry operations. So now let's go and get a closer look at a 990. The standard bucket capacity for a 990 wheel loader can range anywhere from 11 to 12 cubic yards. Up top, you can see the single bucket cylinder, which connects to the Z-bar linkage, to the push rod, and this is what will curl the bucket in or curl it out. Okay, right here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And this is where the articulated steering is. One cylinder on each side to turn the loader left or right. And right here on the side of the loader frame, you can see the plate with the machine's product identification number and the model number, you can see where it says 990F. On the left hand side of the loader, this is the diesel fuel tank you see right here. It holds 413 gallons of fuel. The frame on a 990 is 80% robotically welded. The rear box section is designed to absorb torsional forces generated from the loading cycle while the front section is designed to resist shock and torsional loads while maintaining hitch and loader linkage pin alignment. Now, let's go up on top of the 990. Right here on the side, you can see the master switch. Here you can see the big Caterpillar diesel engine that powers this loader. It's a model 3412 ETA. It produces 610 horsepower. It has an advanced diesel engine management system. The unit fuel injector system is hydraulically actuated and electronically controlled. And along with the electronic control module, it delivers power and efficiency. And the machine also has an advanced modular cooling system with an air-to-air -air after cooling system. Up top here, you can see one of the air cleaners, the other is on the opposite side. And up top here, you can see the two air intakes. And as you can see, there is a lot of room up on the top deck of a 990 loader. Okay, now this big service compartment that you see right here behind the operator's cab, this is to access the transmission and hydraulic pumps. This machine uses two separate hydraulic systems to improve cooling capabilities and to eliminate cross-contamination. And right here on the top deck of the engine house, you can see the grate to allow plenty of air circulation down by the engine when it's running to help keep it cool. Now, let's go inside the operator's cab. Here you can get a good overview inside the cab of a 990. Okay, the noise level inside the cab of a 990 loader is rated to be below 75 decibels. This machine has a Caterpillar monitoring system which monitors the entire loader when it's running. And probably the first thing that you're noticing inside the cab of a 990 loader is as you can see there's no steering wheel. A 990 is a full joystick control machine for its steering. And that's what this hand lever that you see right here on the left side is used for. This is how you steer the loader and control its direction. 
So this would be to turn to the left or turn to the right. And the toggle switch that you see down below that you control with your finger will shift the loader from reverse, neutral, or forward gears. This is what's called an STIC control system. Now on the floor, you see three foot pedals. The third pedal that you see over here, on the far left side, operates the impeller clutch torque converter. When you step on this pedal halfway, it modulates the rim pull from 100 to 20 percent. The second half applies 20 percent rim pull and brakes. This gives smooth transitions from brake on to brake off for fast loading cycles. And what the impeller clutch does is it modulates the amount of power sent to the wheels. While the torque converter has a standard lockup clutch, which allows for fast load and carry cycles. And over here on the right side, you can see two hand levers, which control all the functions of the loader out in front. One to raise the arms up and down, and the other to curl the bucket in or out. And over here on the side control panel, you can see switches to work various functions, such as headlights, windshield wipers, you can see for your air conditioner and heater, and your fan speed. And as you can see, there is excellent visibility inside the cab of a 990 loader. This should give you a crystal clear operator's view if he were running a 990. The 990 was designed for face excavation and can be matched with trucks ranging anywhere from 60 to 70 ton capacity. But with the high lift configuration, this machine can easily load a 100 ton class truck. And the overall operating weight of a 990 wheel loader is 81 tons. Now later on in 1996, Caterpillar introduced an improved Series 2 version of the 990 wheel loader, which featured an increase in power up to 620 horsepower and the operating weight increased up to 84 tons. But there she is, a 1995 Caterpillar 990 wheel loader.